Hi, everybody. Welcome to Vivid Luster Factory's March of 2022 Custom Coasters Workshop. This process we're going to be working on today is water transfer process. We are going to adhere the ink from this paper onto a porous surface. And using water, we are going to remove the fibers of the paper, leaving the ink and glue adhered to the coaster. And then we're going to give it a nice clear coat. And that will, you're going to start with four pictures. And you're going to decide which pictures you want on which coasters. Now, I would pay attention to things like where holes would be. Um, these are all pretty much on the borders and I don't have anyone's faces on the borders except for this picture. So I think I would want this one or this one because there's some rock, some missing pieces through here, some texture through here and that's right where the faces would be. Um, this one looks like it would be a good place and this one. This one also has some texture that might cause us to run into a problem or just scratch out someone's face on accident. Okay, um, I choose, yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so do that in there. I'll go ahead and do this one here because I can put this bare space over these te this texture here. And since that's me in the middle, I'll put that one on that one because I don't care if I scratch up my face, but my mom and my daughter. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to take the glue and open it up. Take the dauber get some glue and we're just going to make a very thin layer of glue across the tops of these coasters or tiles as you can see. You do want to give a little extra attention to the corners, make sure they get nicely glued. They often get avoided and then those sections of the coasters do come up and you can see that on something I was working on here previously. You can see all the corners have come up on that one because I just didn't pay close enough attention. If there's any deep holes, you can try to put a little glue in them and that may help. All right. And you're gonna flip that over. Press that down. Give it a good press. Now this is when you'll find out if you have too much glue. Um, the paper should not wrinkle. It should be not be enough moisture to wrinkle the paper right away. Um, if you do have too much glue, pull your image back off the stone very quickly. Go ahead and wipe the stone down with a napkin. You do have a couple provided in your kit and then lay the picture down as quickly as you can. And we are going face down with our images. Keep on giving it a nice good rub. Okay, moving on to the next one. There doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason to the, the direction, the brush stroke. You can pounce it, you can scrub it across. Make sure you get those corners nice and across, the, all the way down the edge. If you want to fill any holes up, okay, that actually feels like a little bit too much glue. Okay, so I'm going to do like one quick swipe to try and get off any more. And then instead of putting my dauber back in my glue, I'm going to set it to the side. Okay. Remember to, oh, I remember now I wanted to scoot that down some. So it doesn't really matter to me if some of the stone is showing, if it's, if, even if it ends up as a straight line, the picture itself is what catches people's attention. They're not going to notice that. Um, but there are ways with the sandpaper later on in another step for you to rough that up and make it feel like it fades off into the stone. Oh, 
All right. I do like to stack them. I do feel like the time that I leave them stacked does ensure that the papers don't wrinkle up. Alrighty, I'm just gonna work my way through all four of the coasters, gluing the images face down with a thin layer of glue, taking a moment to rub and press as much as I can down the image to the stone. The more adhesion you get, the better off you will be on what is considered the hardest part of this process. So if you notice when I was cutting the, or if you notice from the cutting that there's any white remaining or part of the picture that was next to it on the edge of your photo, if you don't, it's not a big worry because it is going to hang over the edge just a little bit. Okay, now we let it dry for one hour. I totally forgot to press record. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh, yay. Good with these. So with this step, you have to kind of get to know it and uh, work on work slowly and softly. And just a little bit of water at a time. And you want to spread that water out across the paper. And then if you just keep rubbing softly, very softly on wet paper, the paper fibers will start to pile off and come loose from the ink that's going to do the coaster. Just brush that to the side. And keep rubbing anywhere that you can feel texture under your fingertips is ready to be rubbed. If it feels smooth, then you're either going to need some water or you've gotten as far as you can get on the first step. Now remember always to rub very lightly. Anytime you're working over text, or someone's face, you want to work very softly. Okay. Now on this step, we are not trying to get all the way to the bottom. We're going to take as much paper as we can off on this step, but then we're going to let it dry. We're going to use our sandpaper to rough it up, and then we're going to wet it again. So getting all of the paper fibers off is a two-step process. <clears throat> I am just very lightly, barely touching the paper. No pressure at all, just friction.
Taking extra care over the faces. Again, not using any pressure, just the friction of going back and forth. Ooh, nice pull. I do not pull off into the dry area of the paper. Okay, so that's taken almost all of the paper off of that image. Okay, so having most of that paper off, I'm gonna give it one good wipe, try to get all the piles off, the piling off. And then I'm gonna set it aside and work on the next coaster. Got a little rip right there. I'm just gonna go very carefully in that area and maybe just avoid that area. It's all the way through, so it's not like I need to work much more there. <clears throat>
Okay, <clears throat> and then we're going to let those dry. Alrighty, we've let them dry a little while. I did hit them with a hair dryer, so if you are at home and you want to speed up uh, either of the drying processes, that should help things along quite a bit. I am going to go ahead and take them in the same order I had them before. Now, you can wet this thing and do another soft layer, or I prefer to start sanding it. And this is where you can work around those edges and get that nice distressed look. Paper that you can tell isn't sticking, you can just pull that off. now have really brought those edges in. Okay, so that roughs up those fibers a little bit more. And I'm going to go back with just a little bit of water and a little bit of friction. 
and see how much more paper I can get off. So this is the part where you Right. Here we go. I knew there was more there. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting to get all the way through the paper and I'm pulling and I can see the glue or the ink and the glue and the for the stone. So I think this one is about as far as it can go. So we set it aside and do the same step on the rest of the, the remaining three coasters.
Until we put the clear coat on them, they're going to, every time they dry, be a little cloudy. Much like this one looks now. That is okay. That wet paint clear coat is going to bring them back to life. Okay, we have taken the coasters outside. We're grabbing any clear coat will work. A high gloss, a matte finish, all of it works. It's no problem. And I'm just gonna go over. I'm gonna try to make sure that I'm getting the edges. And then I'm gonna let it dry. try to do this best I can one handed. Um, they've dried in the sun a little bit and you can still feel a pretty strong texture. So I'm going to go through and give it another good fan. This time I am making sure to go left to right and up and down on every coaster. We don't want to leave any strokes that are wonky. All right, I'm going to separate them just a little bit again. more time. The 
looks good to me. Let it dry another time. Now, I did choose a rock that had a hole just where my eye is. So that's what you're seeing. Um, don't worry too much about the texture that you're seeing in the clear coat. It won't matter once it's dry. It'll still be a great coaster.